Okay, this is about the drop-down menu here for Spurpunk. There is an export from the monsters.xml sheet that basically assigns monsters to be released per level. And that sheet, of course, is under Spurpunk. It's under Assets. Go then to Excel. And you have to go down um, one more level under Level Designers, and you should see Monsters spmonsterbreakdown.xlsm From here what you want to do is note that all of these monsters, cards, are released on particular levels. Now this informs the game to uh, when you hit the export release schedule the game actually digests the XML from this and knows when to announce the monsters per level. However, there is a small detail. And that detail is that there is a little bit of code that we are using to show on the map which monsters are released during what level. And it's, a, it's disconnected from um, this automated process. So if I go back to the map here, you can see that certain monsters have their faces over the icons here. because um, so I'm sure the soundtrack is drowning me out. So the faces of these monsters that are released, such as 52, um, levels here, all of these have different monsters released per level and different cards. The fact that these icons are already over the towns is not automated. That comes when you come up here to Spurpunk and you use this set map icon drop down. And this set map icon drop down has uh, two buttons. One is set map icon, and only then will it only then will it propagate all of the monsters' faces and the cards to their proper towns. So the XML export from this sheet will inform the game when to do the drop-down announcements in the beginning of the level, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't inform um, these towns to use the proper icons. So these two buttons you can actually roll back to the skull icon, which is the original one, and then when you hit set map icon, then um, it's going to go to the proper icons. So watch what happens here. Okay, so we already saw things change because of the reordering of the cards. 43 changed, 47 changed, and others may change as well. So that needs to happen if we are to align to any changes from the monster.xml sheet. You need to make sure to come up here to Spurpunk and bring up the set map icon drop down and set the map icon to the current alignment of uh, information about these different cards. So there we are. Once you're done with that, you want, well, you need to, to read in the scene of the ma of map Unity because it deals just with this map. And you want to save this scene at the end and then commit it because only then will everyone else get your changes. So here we are. So make sure to exit the play mode. In fact, I could have done that without playing the game. You wouldn't have to hear the music, so... Uh, that's pretty much it. You can exit, get rid of this sheet, don't save anything. And from here you can come in and just do your commits. And you should see the scene for Scene Store Unity. And Just a little descriptor and a little correction there. And that's how you do it.